Good morning Liverpool class again and welcome to Multiplication Lesson 3. Today we're going to look at everything linked to 2s, 5s and 10 times table. So let's start with 2s. So, so this is a picture isn't it? So write a fact from the 2 times tables to match. So think how many 2s there are. There are 5 lots of 2. So it would be 5 times 2 equals See if you can work that out. Then have a go at them pictures. The dice are in, it's a number two, isn't it, on it? And so the trains cost two pounds. Think how many dice there are. Think how many trains there are. I think you can do that. Then have a go at these number sentences. Now, the first one is easy, isn't it? Three times two equals. The second one is because the equals is just in the middle. But if you look at D, two times something equals four. That you need to know how many twos in four. Same as E, how many twos in 12? It's just Remember, multiplication is the opposite of division. I would love it if you sent me some of that. Now let's have a look at some problems with twos in luck. It says Teddy has eight pounds. Rosie has twice as much money as Teddy. So how much money does Rosie have? Remember, it would be Teddy, he has eight and Rosie has twice. So that twice means double two times the amount, so what would it be? Look at what Ava is writing. She's got 10 times two in different ways, look, but she split it, look, three times two, seven times two. Could you do that in a different way? Could you show 10 times two? Maybe I would do four times two and six times two. See if you could show it in a different way. Now then, we're moving on to five times tables now. And you match the picture to the times table. So I've got underneath three times five, two times five, one times five, five times five. Think how many groups of five in each picture. Not quite simple. Now then, we've got some problems there. Draw a picture to show four times five. Now we've done that, so four lots of five. Maybe a picture, not a raise, a picture. So maybe four plant pots with five flowers in, or four plates with five buns on, or maybe four buckets with five balls on. Maybe you could think of something else. Have a look at this number line. Zero, five, ten, yeah, what is that times table showing you? I think that's quite straightforward. Again, look, can you complete these number sentences? Think if the equals is in the middle, it's the same. So nine times five, the answer would go at the front. 35 equals something times five at the bottom. Look, that one would be where you'd have to work out how many fives are in 35 to give you that answer. Now then, look at this one. How much money does Ron have? See if, see if you can work it out. How many 5Ps does he have? See if you can do it as a multiplication. How many 5s and what does it equal? So what's this total in the end? Now then, we haven't done these for a while, have we? This is something greater than, less than, equals. So you've got to work out the answer, haven't you? Seven fives, five times eight. Oh, now then, do I know my eights? But no, but I do know eight fives. So think about them. Now, six fives, four fives and two fives. But I could just do four fives and two fives. Four and two is, so six fives. That's what it's asking, isn't it? Think really carefully, especially the bo the third one, look, two fives are easy, but three fives. And you've got to minus one five. 
Mm, think carefully. Now then, this one, look, a sandwich costs two pounds. Look, you can see in a box of crayons costs five pounds. Now, ja sorry, Jack, he buys five sandwiches. So you need to have five twos, wouldn't you? And three boxes of crayons. So you'd need three fives. I wonder if you could add them together to find what the total was. Now then, let's have a look at the 10 times table. Look, cookie jars. Look, I think you can work out how many tens there are to work out how many cookies there are all together. There are six tens, aren't they? So what are six tens, which would give you your total of cookies. Now then, these are bar models. Look, look at the first two. Look, we've got the total at the top. And... 10 so that would be 4 times 10 equals 40 wouldn't it see you've got you've got the parts at the bottom how many tens there are seven so what would be the whole on the next one you've got the whole as 100 if you wrote tens in there how many tens are there oh now then let's delete slide because we haven't got anything for that so can you now draw a bar model to represent five times ten using that maybe could you draw one for five times ten three times ten six times ten and eight times ten be very careful when you're splitting your bars up on the bottom. I'd love to see that. Now then again, we've got a, num a number line there. Look, can you complete that number line? Again, we've got some number sentences. Think really carefully. Look at D. 10 times something equals 110. How many tens are in 110? 10 times what equals 10? How many tens in that? Now then, some two problems to finish with. Ava is seven years old. The gran is 10 times older. How old is Ava's gran? So she's 10 times older. So it's seven times 10, isn't it? Now this one, look, four children each have some money. Teddy has, now then, two 2p coins. So how much does Teddy have? We know two and two, don't we? Now Dora has twice as much, so she's got double that, hasn't she? Jack has five times, so five times what? And Rosie has 10 times, so 10 times what? See if you can work that out. I hope you've enjoyed this revision time on multiplication. Remember to keep practicing your times tables on times tables rock stars and on hit the button. And I hope that you're enjoying our new one on numbots as well. Lots of things for you to practice basic skills. Okay then, take care and happy learning.